What's going on, rock stars? Welcome to our first annual Rockstar Garage holiday pop up meet. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Ooh. We're about an hour in. We have some awesome S2000s here, so let's take a closer look at some of these cool cars. What'd you think of the meat? That it was pretty weak. That was my only complaint was the timing. That's why the turnout was kind of low. Eating, more drinking, and more eating. So this meat this year at Rockstar Garage, in my opinion, it was a success. And I say that for many reasons. There may not have been as many people as we would have wanted, but everybody that was here was all talking to each other. Everybody was shedding each other's knowledge to one another so i think that's honestly what the car community is not people just walking around not talking to each other having that kind of attitude where they want to keep to themselves it's that it's that bonding of sharing one thing that we all love together and talking to one another next time we'll announce it a lot earlier eventually hopefully maybe i don't know if there is then you guys keep an eye out um opinion on our pop-up car meet A what? Like whatever. Any input? Ahead of time planning. Be more than a week before people know. Food. Be more planning so more people show up. Give people a chance to show up. No, I mean, it is what it is, you know? Um, like, I think it's just, you know, we, next time we just need to plan maybe teamwork, you know? And I didn't know anything about it, which is great for me. It's great for me not to have to, to deal with this stuff. It was disappointing that. There wasn't a lot of people that showed up, but that's out of our power. But there's a lot of things that we could do. When I had that first meet, that was back in 2018, I think. And I think we counted like at least 150 cars here at one time. Whether they were taken off and stuff, I mean, yeah, it was huge. There was cars parked all the way down the street. The parking lots were full. It was just, it was our just the first meet. We had it in November around the same time, which I think is a good time to do it. The thing is that the, I think what we really missed though is we need to plan it ahead because when we plan it ahead, it gave other people, I didn't even realize this, people set up caravans. There was like two or three separate caravan meeting spots to come to the meet. And people get excited for that, you know? And that's not the big thing, but like, I mean, that was groups of people who were planning to come to the meet together, you know? So that's a big thing. And then the other one is the raffle. You know, people want to come because they, they want to win prizes. Awesome to have Jays here. It was great to have Feel here. Feel wasn't here before. Jays wasn't here before. Buddy Club was here. We had like Ontario Rain, the hockey team. They came out the first time. I mean, it was pretty cool. Everyone gave prizes and stuff. 
people paid for tickets, people, and we had the in and out truck here. I mean, it was planned out way ahead of time and stuff like that. Always room for improvement, no matter how successful something goes. What's going on, rock stars? My name is Bij, or Bijan. Uh, I'm the one who's kind of the brains and the operator behind Meet the Meat. In all honesty, I guess it was a fucking disaster. <laughs> a fucking disaster. <laughs> Trying to plan a meet with the holidays and track events and drift events and stuff going on in between. Trying to coordinate it and schedule it, you know, ahead of time. Thought it was just fighting the calendar the whole time. So I thought it was just a good idea to get people together and to come hang out and donate some toys and give those to less less fortunate than us and see some cool S2000s. I mean, I'm honestly very appreciative of the people who came out and supported the vendors who came out, Fuel Suspension, Jay's Racing, Buddy Club, those who came out to support all the people who, you know, paid for VIP packages and came to the meet and support us. But in all honesty, I mean, I guess behind the camera, it was kind of lame. I, I was really like disappointed in myself for putting together such like a disastrous meet. I kind of felt I failed. I tried to do this kind of like one-handed, not that it's a complaint of any sort, just kind of prefacing. I don't know, I just felt like not everybody was really into it, you know? I felt like everybody was kind of all over the place that day and sometimes life behind YouTube and the camera isn't always as it appears to be. Alrighty, rock stars. First off, I'd like to apologize for the quality of the sound. It's very low, I'm sorry. We have very mediocre mics here and they don't pick up things as well as I thought. So with that being said, I just wanted to do a voiceover of what I recorded earlier, which was incredibly low as well. But anyways, so I thought the meet went pretty well. The only issue was the attendees and the lack thereof. You know, a lot of people were saying uh, we need more planning. But the thing is, Bajan did plan this with adequate time. But we didn't decide to announce it until a week before, which is definitely the downfall. Next time, we're going to go for two weeks or a month even let you guys know so you guys can make it down. Another good thing about this meet was it was the first time we ever held an event here. I think we have good location for vendors along with the front of the shop was used for VIP cars. Next time we're going to have that whole parking lot filled up and maybe even more vendors in the back. You know food trucks or something like that could have made a huge difference. I was very glad to see all the people that did show up and ask questions and stuff like that. I also really appreciate the guys that told us that they're here because they watch the YouTube and they like watching the YouTube videos. Like that means a lot to us and the videos we make. It means we're actually doing something. You guys are cool. Better see you at the next one guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought of this style of video behind the scenes kind of stuff. Leave a comment, like the video, and share the video too. Alrighty, Rockstars, thanks for watching.